And June is National Fresh Fruits and Vegetable Month. Yes, there's still a few days left in the month, so it is a good reminder that local means better in more ways than one. Yes, joining us now is a local farmer to tell us all about it, Jacob Thomas, the owner of Jet Produce and Meat. Welcome back, yeah. Jacob. You've been on the show before. I was. I was on the show about a year ago. That I'm was... really glad to be back. Yeah, I'm happy to have I you back I wasn't here, well. so <laughs> I'm happy to have you here again so that I can learn more about uh, your journey. So tell us, what is Jet Produce? Meat. Absolutely. So the name comes from my initials, Jacob E. Thomas. Oh. And so my wife and I run a farm in Leavenworth, Kansas. And uh, we grow eight, uh, vegetables on about 18 acres. Mm -hmm. And then we also have pigs, cattle, chickens, sheep. And so we just love producing food for the people, for the people of yeah. our community, Greater Kansas City. And, and it's just a lot of fun. You yeah. know, Leavenworth is the first city of Kansas, right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> we have them on the yeah, show yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, we learned a lot about Leavenworth. We may be taking a trip up there. So we got to see you. <laughs> so what did you bring us today? Because uh, everything looks super fresh and super tasty. Well, this morning I brought you a sample of some of the fruits and vegetables that are in season right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh la la. So I'm very busy with our 18 acres of vegetables and our thousand acres of the rest of the farm. So it's hard for me to go to a lot of different markets. Yeah. So we partner with somebody called Market Wagon, marketwagon.com, okay. and they will deliver fresh fruits, vegetables to your door every Thursday. Really? Ooh. You can also find, we, uh, we sell meat through there as well. There are bakers. Mm -hmm. There are lots of other uh, local food companies and local small businesses yeah. that you typically find at a farmer's market. And so today I brought just some examples of some of the beautiful stuff we have right now, like some purple cauliflower. I've never seen purple. I, I, <laughs> I said, what is that? He said, it's cauliflower. I said, did it grow like that? Or did you like Dye? dip it in a purple dye? I thought it was purple broccoli. For a second. It, it is, that is the way it grows. Uh, the variety is called da purple. Da purple. Okay. Da purple. <laughs> okay. All right. And then also, you know, zucchini and squash, cucumbers beautiful big red tomatoes yeah, for those, those are beautiful yeah blt season guys yes. it is blt season and we yeah, got the, the peaches and over peaches. here too That's guy cut, awesome. cut up one of them if you want to see how how good they are right now they are so sweet and Let's juicy do it. all right Cheers. and um you know the the peaches are oh. grown in edgerton oh. kansas at geringer's family orchard this is good so why uh, oh my gosh it's good isn't it <laughs> why is it so important to shop local it is so important to shop local because you know you're supporting your neighbors and your other and you know we're all local small businesses that that go to these farmers markets and mm -hmm. do these things oh you know gosh. and things like peaches mm -hmm. they're soft mm -hmm. you know they don't transport well so if you can buy a peach that was grown close to you yeah. that means it stays on the tree all the way until it's soft and ripe and ready to eat oh. and that that allows for the most sugar possible to be in that fruit so anytime you're buying things, whether it's farmer's market or have it delivered to your home with Market Wagon, it is the sweetest, the best tasting, the freshest mm, this is super food fresh. you'll ever get. Oh, this so is good. so juicy, so good. I do so, have a question. Absolutely. What makes um, fruits and vegetables organic? So what makes them organic, it has to do with uh, the type of fertilizers used. Okay and the type of sprays used or not used to oh. control insects. Interesting. Oh, okay. And so on our farm, we're not organic, but we use cow manure as our primary mm -hmm. fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then- That sounds organic to me. Really, we don't <laughs> spray anything unless we absolutely have to. Right. So I mean, even like the things over there, they're not, those haven't been sprayed. Those look fantastic. Yeah. Like this is beautiful produce right here. Yes. 